AACR presents A Conversation with Dr. Frank McCormick. What can attendees expect at the AACR Annual Meeting 2013? The attendees can expect to hear the latest breakthroughs in cancer research in all different disciplines from the greatest scientists on the planet. And they'll uh, have an opportunity to present their own data in posters and talks. Uh, and also, a very important part of the meeting is the networking, where individual scientists can meet their colleagues and exchange in a more informal situation as well. What does the scope of the meeting mean to the international cancer research community? For many people who come to the meeting, uh, it is the single meeting of the year when they get the full download of all the latest discoveries in every aspect of cancer research. So people come from over 60 countries uh, to come to the, this meeting, which is generally considered to be by far the best uh, scientific meeting in cancer research uh, of, the, of the year's calendar. Please share with us your overall experience being AACR president from 2012 through 2013. It's been a wonderful experience. Uh, it's been uh, tremendous to work with Marge Foti and the AACR staff, who are remarkably dedicated and hardworking. Uh, it's been fun to work with them, planning the uh, events for the AACR for the future, uh, and also for me to uh, participate in some very unique experiences, which I'd never have had the opportunity uh, to participate in otherwise, such as visiting the White House and uh, testifying in Senate hearings and visiting other parts of the world uh, to discuss the AACR's role overseas. So it's presented me with many new and exciting opportunities, uh, and it's been a very uh, fulfilling experience. What were some of your goals as AACR president, and what are your hopes for the future of the association? When I started my presidency, my goals were uh, first to increase the international presence of the AACR overseas, uh, to increase um, the educational programs that the AACR is known for, to strengthen those programs, and also to find new ways of uh, networking and interacting using social media to help disseminate scientific uh, cancer research information. But when I started the presidency, uh, the crisis in federal funding really took priority. So that's really been the major uh, focus of my presidency. What do you believe are some of the biggest challenges facing the cancer research community? Well, I believe there are really two types of challenge. One, the complexity of cancer itself. As we understand more about the disease, we realize how heterogeneous it is and how complicated it is. And this is a real intellectual challenge to identify new ways of treating cancer. And on the other hand, we have major challenges in, in funding for cancer research, which make it uh, rather difficult to pursue some of the innovations uh, which we've been coming up with and to keep momentum uh, going forward in cancer research. How do you think the AACR can play a role in combating the challenges facing cancer research? The AACR plays roles in many different areas through uh, organization of uh, big meetings, uh, such as the annual meeting, but also local meetings, uh, workshops and training programs, and also through uh, providing media in which people present their data and publish it for the international community, and also providing a, a forum for networking and bringing people together. What is the importance of the AACR's relationship to the cancer patient or survivor? Many members of the public, and certainly cancer survivors and patients, recognize the value of research and uh, recognize the value that the AACR contributes uh, to the whole research uh, enterprise. But we see a huge opportunity there to increase uh, our uh, educational mission, to help educate people uh, not only in what progress has been made in uh, treating cancer and understanding cancer, but really the whole value of research uh, in that process. During the annual meeting in Washington, D.C., the AACR is participating in the Rally for Medical Research. What is the goal of the rally? When I started my presidency, it uh, became very clear that uh, focusing on increasing funding for research should be a priority. And the fact that the annual meeting is being held in Washington, D.C. Uh, gave us a wonderful opportunity to increase uh, awareness for uh, increase in funding, federal funding for cancer research and for research in general. I want to thank my friend Jose Baselga and the program committee and all the AACR staff who put this meeting together. We're looking forward very much to seeing you in Washington, D.C. 